Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing two healthy and simple side dishes to have with roti. So let's get started with the recipes. I have sliced half kg lady's finger also known as bindi and also chopped three medium sized potatoes. One onion sliced, two medium sized tomatoes chopped. I'm heating my cast iron pan and into that I'm adding in two tablespoon wood pressed groundnut oil. Now good quality wood pressed oils has residue like this. The buying links will be updated in the description box below this video. Once the oil is heated add in 1 teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds, 1 fourth teaspoon ajwain and once it splutters reduce the flame to the lowest and add in the sliced onion. Mix well add in a sprig of curry leaves, 1 tablespoon Kashmiri chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 fourth teaspoon black pepper powder and give this all a mix. And allow the spices to saute on low flame for about a minute so that the raw flavor of the spices are diminished. Add in the chopped tomatoes and 2 tablespoon of water to help the tomatoes cook. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed, mix well and cover and let the tomatoes cook for about a minute or two on low flame. Open the lid and the, we can see that the tomatoes are cooked and the oil has started releasing out. Lightly mash the tomatoes with the spatula. Add in the lady's finger and the potatoes. Mix well and then cover and let it cook on low flame. After about 5 minutes open the lid and mix well and once again cover and let it cook. Again open the lid after about another 5 minutes and the potatoes are cooked well. Allow it to roast for a couple of minutes without the lid. Remember that cast iron retains more heat so cooking actually takes lesser time when you are cooking in a cast iron cookware. Cooking in cast iron also helps in better iron absorption. So if you have iron deficiency anemia try to cook at least one of your meal in a cast iron cookware. So once the bindi and aloo are nicely roasted add in 3 4 teaspoon amchur powder and mix well and bindi aloo is ready to serve. Sprinkle some extra curry leaves for added flavor. Serve the bindi aloo with kapli wheat roti and some shallots for that extra iron folate and antioxidants. For the second recipe I am chopping one large potato. If you are using um, medium sized potato then you may need to use two potatoes. Wash and rinse the potatoes and keep aside. I am also using one cup of cauliflower. I am using wood pressed groundnut oil. Now heat a cast iron kadai and in 1 tablespoon groundnut oil. Remember that good quality wood pressed oils will have some residue like this. Once the oil is heated add in 1 teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds. Once it splutters reduce the flame to the lowest and add in the cauliflower and potato. Mix well and cover and let it cook on low flame. Remember that cast iron has more heat retention. After about a minute open and mix well. Again cover and allow it to get cooked. Repeat this a couple of times and once the aloo and gobi are nicely cooked add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. Mix well. Add in half teaspoon turmeric powder, one third teaspoon garam masala, half teaspoon roasted jeera powder, half teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon Kashmiri chilli powder, half teaspoon amjur powder and mix all this really well. And let it saute for about a minute or two and once everything is nicely roasted add in some chopped coriander leaves and stir well. The heat from the cast iron kadai helps to roast the aloo and gobi which also gives a nice taste and flavor. Serve the roasted aloo gobi with kapli wheat roti, grated carrots and shallots. So guys do try these two healthy side dishes and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.